Welcome to my channel guys. So in this video we are going to be talking about black and white horror movies. Something that I personally really enjoy. I just really like black and white photography and black and white movies. So this is not a top anything. I'm just going to be calling out all of these movies in random order. So the first movie that I have to bring up is the classic black and white horror movie The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari from 1920. This is a true, like, old school horror movie. Not only is it black and white, but it's also a silent film. And I had just re very recently checked this movie out when it got added to Shudder. What drew me to this movie was the fact that it is described by many people to be, like, one of the first horror movies ever made. So that definitely sparked my curiosity. The fact that this is a silent film definitely took me like getting used to. I've actually never watched a silent film before, but this movie I actually really liked. Even though, like I said, it definitely took getting used to for me to watch a movie like this is definitely like very unconventional. So this is also a German horror movie apparently, and it was written by Carl Mayer and Hans Janowitz and directed by Robert Vienne. And the plot is that two best friends go to a carnival in Germany where they witness the performer hypnotist Dr. Caligari showcasing the main attraction in his act, the some novelist named Cesar, who is supposed to be clairvoyant and can predict the future. Cesar predicts that one of the friends is going to die and the next day he is found murdered. This movie is definitely very eerie and creepy and it has a twist ending that, not even gonna lie, I personally thought was really predictable. I have seen this type of a twist happen at, in movies quite a few times, but the thing is this movie came out back in 1920, so clearly all those other movies that do this kind of certain similar twist, there is a very good possibility that they probably got the idea from this movie and I'm pretty sure that back in 1920s when this first came out, the twist was probably quite shocking to the viewers. It's also visually stunning and the sets for this movie are really simplistic like they look like they're literally made out of paper or something but there is a certain creepiness to how everything just looks and the overall vibe of the movie is definitely creepy. The next movie I want to bring up is a much more modern day movie The Eyes of My Mother that came out in 2016. I've actually did a review for this movie on my channel before, so I'm not going to say too much about it, but it's basically about this young woman that grew up on a secluded farm with her mother who taught the main character how to do surgery and stuff like that, and then, and then tragedy happens and Francesca's mother is cruelly taken away from her and she goes ahead and copes with it in some really disturbing ways. This movie is unsettling on so many levels, one scene in particular especially, but it looks really beautiful once again in a really kind of simplistic way but in a very effective way and the acting is really good and the overall vibe of the movie is definitely creepy. And somehow the fact that the movie is in black and white, I don't really know how to explain it but in a weird way it really suits this movie to be in black and white like I feel like if it was in color it would not be as effective something about the black and white photography just adds to the overall um, creepiness of the movie and it adds a certain subtlety to certain parts of it so where you do see acts of violence committed it just feels really really jarring of course this list also wouldn't be complete without another classic the 1977 eraser head written and directed by david lynch i don't even know how to describe the plot of this movie as there is doesn't seem to be that much of a plot there i mean there definitely is plot but it's so confusing like that it's hard to put it in words. On IMBD, the description as is follows. Henry Spencer tries to survive his industrial environment, his angry girlfriend, and the unbearable screams of his newly born mutant child. And let me tell you all that mutant child really was something. And so were all of the other visuals in this movie. This is like only 89 minutes long, but I'm not even gonna lie. The first time I've seen this movie, it felt about three hours to me just because it was just so weird and strange. And it was so hard for me to wrap my head about like what the fuck was going on in this movie that the movie just felt longer to me. That's not to say that it wasn't still really, really interesting. But yeah, it was definitely like a very 
very strange experience and i don't even know what else to say about this movie other than that it was weird as fuck and if you like really weird shit and somehow still haven't seen this one yet then you definitely have to check this out it's very strange and trippy for sure just have to mention this other movie the, ni the 1989 japanese cyberpunk horror movie tatsuo the iron man the plot for this movie is also kind of hard to describe. Basically, like there is like this guy that is obsessed with metal for some reason. He is called the metal fetishist, and he gets run over by a car that's driven by a guy and his girlfriend who flee the scene and decide to pretend like it never happened. But soon after the incident, the guy that ran the man obsessed with metal over begins to realize that something is happening to him something is wrong with his body and he begins to slowly but surely change and, and morph into a pile of metal and it's a very very weird movie very fucking strange they has some really messed up and the confusing and somewhat disturbing images there's some crazy over-the-top acting and just the overall look of this movie is truly something else. I can't help but to feel like one of the reasons why this particular movie is in black and white is because they were trying to hide behind it how cheap their um, practical effects were, like the whole body horror morphing thing. If it was in color, it would look fake as hell, but like in black and white, it gives it a bit more of a realness to it but i'm sure there were other reasons why they shot it in black and white as well but whatever the reason was it definitely does work and this movie is crazy as all hell i wouldn't recommend it for everybody but you want to see some crazy messed up shit go on ahead and check this one out i mean i watched this one it took me like a minute to figure out what the fuck i even just watched georgia romero's 1968 zombie horror movie night of the living dead is obviously a classic as well and basically is about a group of people that are trying to survive a zombie apocalypse. Ben played by Dwayne Jones is the main protagonist and at that time probably one of the first black protagonists in any horror movie ever so it's definitely worth noting although to this day I still feel really really salty about how dirty they did his character by the end of the movie so i don't know what it is but somehow black and white photography makes something as unpleasant to normally look at as zombie apocalypse to look kind of cool in this movie i'm also going to briefly mention alfred hitchcock's psycho which i'm not even gonna say a whole lot about because i feel like everybody knows about this movie so it's nothing i can say that is just such a classic that I feel like it does not need no introduction, especially not from me, but just putting it out there. That's a really cool, um, not necessarily horror movie, more of a psychological thriller type of a movie, but yeah. A really good one nevertheless so yeah definitely let me know which one of the movies on this list you guys have seen and what do you guys think about them and let me know about any other cool black and white horror movies that i might have missed and if you are new to this channel and i enjoyed my reviews so far then definitely go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you wouldn't miss any future videos and i will see you in the next one okay bye